Hey guys, it's Sharon. I admin, uh, I'm one of the admins on Vestibular Hope and I had a lot of great feedback yesterday from my very simplified um, diagram explaining what's happening with compensation and decompensation and that um, it's important for us to move and work our brains because our brains are shaped by what we do but also by what we don't do. So um, I was encouraging people to get out and to get moving and put themselves in uncomfortable situations. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about perceived recovery. I know um, many of you have heard me screaming that I am recovered. Now when I talk about recovery, I'm not talking about cellular recovery. So stay with me here. This is very much the same concept as yesterday where we have, um, instead of a sagittal view through the brain, we have more of a coronal or frontal view, um, kind of cut through the level of the inner ear or the balance centers. And there are two A's and there's one B, B being the task. Um, at, that we want to achieve by getting A's to work together towards that task. So both sides have to go work together. Um, the synapses from the unaffected side, if you have an unaffected side, those synapses are going to be firing you know, much quicker than um, on your damaged side, even when you're um, fully compensated fully compensated, which I believe I am. So, but the concept is still the same. It's, it's to get the synapses firing kind of as equal as they can from both sides so that we can achieve tasks again. Um, and B, the tasks that we are trying to achieve are gonna vary from person to person. We're all kind of starting out at different levels of um, vestibular deficit, uh, but the goal and the, the treatment is the same, is just to get these pathways working together by compensating, so by creating these, the bypass um, where the signal channel can communicate more effectively rather than having to travel through the damaged signal pathway. So uh, now I wanna talk to you about uh, my theory on perceived versus actual recovery and how it might vary from person to person. So I drew another diagram. So I wanna explain, uh, first of all, that the red line will represent kind of where you start. Let me get this straightened out here. So the red line is um, the level of vestibular deficit that you have. So it's it's your starting line, it's um, day one. You know, if you have a day one, sometimes people have gradual onset. But uh, this would be representative of, say, somebody with 100% vestibular loss. Let's say unilateral now for, to keep it simple. This level here, green lines, and they're all across the board. Let's say this one is 25% level damage. This level here is our perceived recovery. That's what we're going for because it's the best that we can do right now. We, we don't have a way quite yet to bridge the gap between actual cellular recovery and perceived recovery. But I'm telling you, this feels great. When you can make it to your green line, um, you'll feel like you're there. But my theory is that everyone's green line is different and that the, the level of the green line is um, it's, it's dependent on multiple factors, but a lot of it probably has to do with where you're coming from. So this person here with 100% vestibular loss, um, they woke up unable to walk. I needed room to room. Um, I remember gripping my toes to, we have hardwood in our house, and I remember trying to grip the hardwood with my toes because I just, I just did not feel um, steady. I was holding handrails and I was, you know, grabbing uh, my husband by the shoulder and, and, you know, death grip on his arm to try to get around. And I really tried, I promise you, like if anybody tried to get better, <laughs> like it was me. Um, because I understood I had to move to get better. But um, anyway, this is a very dark place. This place, I'm a cheery, sunshiny person. This place here, and I can sympathize um, with all of you that are in it right now. I, I will never forget what it's like to be here. Um, it's life altering, you know, you can't work, uh, you can't drive, you, you just, you can't do the things you normally do. So. Um, the biggest goal is to get us from here to here, and that's wherever you start, here to here, here to here. But um, your green level, if you notice, is different for each person. Um, so the person with um, damage here, kind of middle of the road damage, might have to make it a little bit, like maybe if they were recovered at the level which I was, maybe they wouldn't feel like they were recovered yet. So um, the goal for them is to make it to their green line, wherever that is. Now, it's my feeling, and I'm sure you know people who know more about this hopefully can chime in in the comments, but the, the distance um, between your perceived and your actual recovery, uh, the closer that you have to get to actual recovery to actually perceive it, it's gonna be way more challenging to get from um, there and get this close to recovery than it is to get to here, which is this close from actual cellular recovery. So 
I just want to also, like, you know, sympathize with these people. And I get messages from you, and I can sympathize with you that um, sometimes I did. I got a message from some somebody saying, I saw your YouTube video. I'm two weeks in. Uh, they believe it's vestibular neuritis. And I went to work today, and I went to the beach. And then when I got home after my beach walk, I felt really strange. Whereas two weeks in, I was like... I walked down the stairs today, you know, so we're all starting at different levels and I believe that we can, um, the people with more, more vestibular damage, they might be able to, to have more measurable gains than the people up here who their, their gains aren't going to be quite as measurable. So for me, um, you know, I, it was about a week really where I, I started to walk unaided. So, you know, check that off the list. I started to drive again, check that off the list. I returned back to work, check you know, all these things that this person's already doing, so they're not able to see the gains and, and the compensation and the, the um, you know, that their brain is actually changing and that they're getting better. So uh, I believe that sometimes we fly faster than maybe these people here because they just can't see it and they can't perceive it and that's super frustrating. So um, we make it here and when we're doing the things here, we feel recovered. I'm here right now and it feels fantastic. So I also, in this video, wanted to talk about SSRIs. Um, I didn't take them. I have, though, spoken with quite a few people on the forums who have taken them. And my thought that is that it works twofold. So when you're stressed out, you're not very good at this. You know, when you're stressed out and you're worried about your symptoms, which I get it, like I, I've been there, you're not creating these new pathways or these new signal um, channels as efficiently as somebody who's not. You're, you're kind of stuck in this hypersensitivity, fight or flight, you know, your amygdala is on fire, you're just you're not really able to kind of focus on creating these pathways. So your journey to your green line is gonna be much slower. So instead of going, you know, up, check it off the list, gain more confidence, you know, you're doing things, you're gonna, you're gonna form those pathways really slow. Um, so, you know, an SSRI probably helps with that, but it also, and I get this again from talking to people, it probably changes where your green line is. So what I hear from people over and over again in the support rooms is that, um, you know, I started my SSRI and it was really rough for the few weeks, but now, um, you know, I'm still having vestibular symptoms, but they're not, you know, I don't care about them anymore. So maybe it moves the green line down. So uh, that, that's kind of where I think, you know, I am. And I wanted just to emphasize that, you know, I'm aware that we're, not, we're just not here yet. But let me tell you, this, this just feels amazing. If you can make it here and here and here, um, this one's going to be harder, but if you can make it here and, and focus on your gains and focus on where you've come from, um, maybe you'll rise faster, okay? And I just, I just want everybody to get there. So those are just um, some thoughts from me on my sick day, my sick day number two. Um, anyway, I just, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in, you know, the section for comments. And I'll try to my best to answer any questions that you all have. Okay, bye.